Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a couple of days ago, I actually got asked whether I would start doing vlogs and stuff like that. Um, something that I've never actually thought about doing, but specifically, it was brought up about my job. Uh, so if anybody's actually interested, I thought, why not? I've got my blue day today. Blue day basically means it's my first day back on shift, which is actually only a half day. Um, so I'm only actually here for six hours, which is quite nice. <laughs> I do like my blue days, although, oh, mm, so I do like my blue days. I suppose I do prefer being here for six hours rather than the usual 11. But uh, anyway, it's quarter past five in the morning and I'm on my way to work. I am a town man. Uh, in Truro, which is the capital of Cornwall, which basically means it's my job to keep the streets tidy during the day. And I am just, I'm noticing as I'm coming down, just how many, uh, how much leaf and debris we've got on this street. The street is Lemon Street. Now my blue day is actually quite different to my um, normal day. Normal day would involve brushing out the entirety of town by hand, uh, which is, yeah, yeah, it's as much fun as it sounds, um, for the first two hours, and then we have a mechanical sweeper. Uh, look at the look at the burps. We have a mechanical sweeper uh, if it hasn't broke down. Uh, comes behind us and sweeps everything up. Um, but because it's my blue day today. I will carry on doing things that I don't always have time to do. Which mainly means weeds. And you better believe I have loads of weeds. Now, generally, when I first wake up as well, I am contemplating how great it must be to win the lottery and not have to leave the house at quarter past five pretty much every morning. Um, also thinking about, and that blue car drives past every single day, also thinking about um, what I'm going to record later on. Uh, the missus is at home today, so yeah, I'm deciding whether I'm going to continue recording my current Let's Play, which nobody knows about just yet, or whether I'm going to go do something else. I'm currently juggling about four, about four different series being recorded. So I don't want to get too many because otherwise then I get tripped up and all that good stuff. So I might just continue my main one, which I'm already halfway through. Um, at the moment, I'm if it's a shortish game or regular length game, I do like it to be finished before I start uploading it, so I can jump onto something else. What I will say is this game that I'm currently uploading now is very different. And there's our cinema, the piazza, which is, what, three? Yeah, okay. Well, I didn't start recording from my house, because I'm not stupid, but it's about five minutes walk, about four and a half minutes walk from my house, which is quite nice. Um, but yes, this is Lemon Street in Truro. This this street is as much fun as it looks to brush up. There's usually two of us. Uh, we do one side of the road each. Well, at least that's the theory anyway. So, this is how I start my day. Anyway, I guess I will catch up with you guys a little bit further down the road. Now, we're a little bit further on now. There's Lemon Street. Now, this is the cut through to the main street, but just to prove a bit of a point here. Look at all this rubbish along the streets. Everybody always uh, mentions how clean Truro is. Um, and that's because by the time most people get to Truro, <laughs> we've already been around and swept. Uh, Truro, it, it's, <laughs> it's not clean when you wake up, you know. It, it's quite interesting and I'm sure it's the same for every town. Uh, every town has their own crew, their own town men that go around and tidy up. Um, keeping, <laughs> well, I mean, technically this is a city. You can see the cathedral there. Um, 
people seem to think that these towns don't get that dirty or or people aren't actually as messy and as filthy as they are because they never see any litter it's because we're doing our jobs people are actually really disgusting um, this is the main street and you know from quick glance it doesn't look too bad but trust me if we went round oh we'd find a thing or two especially around the seating areas you can see cigarette butts all over the floor it doesn't actually look too bad today but then yesterday was tuesday so uh i wouldn't have thought it would be and up by the scaffolding where the hall for cornwall is which is being currently completely refitted yeah look at in here in these little gullies it's bad it really does get bad especially by the war memorial as well where everybody likes to stand and smoke and uh fag butts is probably one of the biggest annoyances so, yeah second biggest annoyance i would say in town because our council has a zero tolerance on cigarette butts which let me tell you ladies and gentlemen that is essentially impossible because you can sweep up and pick up and scrub out cigarette butts and then they're all right there again the next morning this is one of my favorite little alleys squeeze guts and you really do have to breathe in when you come down here Now usually there's all sorts of things in here, but it ain't looking too bad today. And that leads out to behind the cathedral. This is another one of my favorite alleys. This is behind the office, which is probably my favorite club in town. And well, there we go. Not the nicest thing in the world to see, but we have a dead seagull straight away. Uh, lots of people also say, in fact, it was only a few weeks ago, someone was mentioning the fact that you don't often see a lot of dead animals and things like that around. Uh, considering that, you know, you always see um, seagulls, pigeons and that kind of stuff. There's fucking thousands of them. You do get lots of dead animals. Just again, we clean them up <laughs> in the morning. But anyway, let's keep going through. There's the office. Probably my favorite club in town. Although I say it's probably my favorite club in town, there's actually only two clubs left. Uh, two actual proper clubs anyway. Now, our sister branch, Cormac, has been repairing this wall for a little while now. You can see where it's all been put in. It's actually looking quite nice. The water is very calm today. Sometimes it can be really high. Right up to these banks here. You also get a lot of fish in here as well, which is quite nice. It's quite a peaceful place to chill out at times. All right, anyway, keep going. This seating area is a nightmare because it's been vandalized. Is only repaired not that long ago. All this leaf here has to be swept and cleaned. But <clears throat> it's my blue day today, so that's not my job. This walkway's been here for ages now, whilst they repair the side of the bank. And this is Shopper's Car Park. Well, I mean, technically it's Old Bridge Street Car Park, but people call this place Shopper's Car Park. Uh, because this is where <laughs> you generally park if you want to go shopping and it's close to town. Uh, usually really shitty as well in the morning. Loads of um, coffee cups and stuff like that. I mean, cigarette butts. Literally, you'll find them everywhere. You'll pick up handfuls and handfuls and handfuls of them. It drives you mad. Uh, <clears throat> I always think to myself, because when I used to smoke, you never used to think... Uh, you know, you never used to think about it. I just have a cigarette, throw it on the floor. And then it was only about four years ago when I started working here and I started maintaining the streets, just how much of a pain it actually is. But this is 
our fortress of solitude, if you will. The crib hut. Haven't obviously been here for about three or four days. This is where all the magic happens. See what kind of state it's in. Ah, oh, it doesn't look too bad actually. This is the office. So, first thing I do, check the sheets. See what actually needs to be done. See if we've got any more notices, any bulletins. Doesn't look like it. Now the next most important thing. Stack up the important bits. Right, I am going to inhale this. And then, I'm going to go grab some tools and I'm going to start walking around. So, I'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Oh, what a wonderful day, people. What a wonderful day. You know, <clears throat> usually when I sit here and I'm drinking my can of energy, I start suddenly regretting the fact that I didn't go to bed um, until, I don't know, what time did I go to bed last night? I probably, I probably started dropping off somewhere around 12 o'clock at night. Uh, the missus was a little bit poorly last night, <clears throat> which didn't help. Um, but after five days or so uh, of doing <laughs> uh, six to 11 hour days, because I do uh, one six hour day and four 11 hour days, the fact that I only sleep four hours a night really starts catching up on me. Because I'm not a night, uh, I'm not a morning person at all. I can, I can't do mornings. Um, I've always struggled my entire life to actually, you know, get to sleep at a proper time uh, in the evening. I find it very difficult to go to sleep before twelve o'clock. In fact, on most days off, I actually. Um, Go to sleep sometimes somewhere in the region of two, three, sometimes four o'clock in the morning. That's just natural for me. And waking up at four o'clock in the morning, oh, it's difficult. So it's why I usually spend my first day off. Uh, cause I, I do five days and I have three days off. I usually first spend my first day off just dead asleep um, uh, for a good chunk of it. Yeah, anyway, enough about that. Up and at them. Fresh gloves. You know, it's the start of the week. Ah, what a wonderful fucking day. And my phone decided to stop recording. Uh, so, to commemorate the visit by the HRH Duke of Cornwall to the old cathedral school, a tablet is placed here by former pupils of Truro Cathedral School in gratitude for their education uh, in this building. 1909 to 1960, when the main school moved to Kenwin. Mm. Uh -huh. Now, a few months ago, uh, when we had a lot of uh, stormy weather, there used to be a massive probably, tree there. You couldn't see that building, but it actually came down. And you can see the wall behind it where it smashed the wall down. And uh, it also broke this which has been repaired and this is St. Mary's Spire St. Mary's Spire there has been a church on this site since the 13th century in 1786 this building was remodeled uh, in the Georgian style and a 39 meter high spire was added which this is the top section it was removed in 1880 when the church was demolished to make way for the building of the cathedral. Relocated to the bishop's uh, palace at Kenwin, it formed part of a sundial until it was brought back to its present permanent location in Cathedral Green in 2015. The move was completed thanks to donations from Truro City Council, Cornwall Council, local businesses and private individuals. The work was undertaken by Cormac Construction as part of its community program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's our cathedral. It's interesting to think that this cathedral is only about 120 years old. Which, yes, I mean, obviously that's old, but it's not that old. I mean, it's not medieval or anything. 
Um, we can go down that way to Union Place, or we can go up here to High Cross. Now, High Cross is a bit of a pain in the mornings. You can see all this leaf, all this stuff here, all this leaf on the sides. We've got to brush all that out. Make sure it's nice. Nice for the people coming down to visit Cornwall. And nice for the locals, of course. And it's actually looking quite nice here now. Now this is High Cross. Used to be one of my favourite coffee shops there. It's now gone. Now, as you can see, you'll see lots of like green, lots of weeds, stuff like that. Uh, we have to remove all of that, which if you're thinking, hey, that sounds impossible, it is. This is the seating area. You need to get under all these benches, brush these out. Pennyworth is a great sweet shop. Now, there is pretty much always, every Wednesday, bags of rubbish out here. And it comes from one of those shops there. No one's owned up, because of course they haven't. But this is actually quite good. Usually it's torn right open and it's all across the street. So today that's not too bad. And there's the cathedral there. Right, let's continue, shall we? Obviously, I'm not going to walk the whole thing because we would literally be here for hours, but this is uh, King Street, which is just off the main street that I showed you earlier. And then we go up. This is Pidar. Pidar Street. Um, pro cook. Love this place. Really want one of these knife blocks. And they didn't actually have the knife block there that I wanted last week. Yeah. Boo. Anyway, let's keep going. HMV. We only have a tiny HMV now. We used to have a massive one. But, of course, like everything else, that's kind of diminishing, sadly, these days. Very nice here, though. A few uh, weeks ago, actually, we came down here. There's the library. Truro Library. A few weeks ago we'd actually come down here and all of these flowers had been ripped out, actually happens quite often, and had been thrown around. It's jolly nice of um, <clears throat> those individuals to redecorate how they see fit. Anyway, let's keep going. so eerie to see it all so empty. Now right at the top is our favourite fish and chip shop. Um, usually have it a couple times a month. And what I like about that chip shop is they still cook everything in beef dripping. So that's why it tastes better than everywhere else. Uh, I will show you the top of that, but probably another day. Now if we go through here, this alley is a pain. This alley leads you onto the Leets. And a Leet is kind of like a river. Now usually this is full of running water, but as you can see, there is no running water there today. Um, quite often these gullies that you find all around Truro uh, have running water. And that was to keep the streets clean. Uh, way back when, you could wash your boots off in it and uh, Animals could drink from it, that kind of stuff. And lovely. People fill them full of cigarette butts. Because if it exists in the city, it is full of cigarette butts. So obviously you need a bit of a sweep. Now this is the Leeds. This is basically that street. And we have a parking area there. Um, yeah, nice place to come and go every now and again to get some coffee. Now, I'm just as I'm moving around, I'm kind of looking at all the 
weeds and whatnot that we have scattered about. There is a few. But magpie, nice tattoo shop. Now this is one alley that's always bad. I actually weeded this right out uh, last week. But you can see you get a lot of build up in all of these back ends. Uh, and here. But this is a very gravelly surface, as you can see. So it's kind of a pain to brush out until you get halfway down. Yeah. Look at all this. This will be brushed out later. And lots of people like to put their rubbish on these bins. I don't know why. Laziness, probably. Now, this is River Street. You can see just how messy the streets are. But that's because we haven't been here yet. Now, this street is an absolute nightmare with its weeds. And it is what I'm going to tackle today. But before I tackle River Street, I want to go up and have a look at Old Bridge Street. Not Old Bridge Street. Um, Little Castle Street, which is just up this way, because this is quite bad, and it gets quite bad. Now we have a huge, massive, great big bloody area to weed. It really does take the overwhelming majority of your time. Even little bits like that. Um, that are starting to come back. This was all sprayed uh, with salt not that long ago. So we don't use harsh chemicals, we use salt water. Uh, which is very effective. This is another alley of mine. Yep. More weeds popping up. Oh look, they're all back. This was only done last week. Quite often you get a lot of the homeless like to put their bottles of ale in that corner and piss and shit because of course they do. Now this is the loop as I call it. You have a little street going up there is up and over and comes all the way back down over the other side um, and at the top you've got Troy Crown Court now I hate this street because there's always I don't know how well you can actually see them but there is always weeds basically going right up uh, both sides and all the way down and if you're thinking to yourself wow that must take you hours to do you'd be right in fact depending on how dense the weeds are um, they're not terrible at the moment but they're getting there you know it can take probably a day to do this and if you think then, you know, if you think it's just like a day to do this one street, uh, <laughs> you can see how hard it would be to do the whole city, you know. And of course, rubbish as well. Now there's the Truro Crown Court. Used to work there as well. as a cleaner. And if you can hear that high pack, like really high pitched sound, that's our sweeper. That sounds like the 550, which is the middle weight one. So I don't know if he's doing the outer route or if he's in town. All these islands here as well, they've got to be weeded.
all this green here, like <laughs> idealistically, has to come out as well. But <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I live in the real world, you see. Real world where I realise just how hard this stuff is and just how time consuming because, right, you don't have time to spend the entire day just weeding. There's a laundry list of stuff that we have to do. We have to look out for defective bricks and, um, you know, anything that's dangerous, hazards, if you will. You have to keep, well, go around, pick up litter. That's very important. Pick up fag butts, which will consume the majority of your day if you allow it. All this brickwork here will have to be dug out. And yeah, as you can see, this needs to be brushed out as well, but that will get brushed out in a second. When one of my colleagues, who's actually doing the sweep round today, gets here. This little bit has to be swept right through because what you'll find here, what you'll find here is all the solicitors will stand in the corner. Um, all this will need to be done at some point, but it's kind of low on my list. Yeah, all of the solicitors will stand here and they'll leave all of their coffee cups they will literally coat the floor in cigarette butts to the point where you won't really be able to see much of this corner at all. Luckily that's not much of an issue at the moment because the lockdown, they're not actually here, which is nice. So if we go back down here, yeah, look at this, man, look at this. Oh, and it's all the way down this, this floor as well. Well, that's pavement. And I thought, you know, this is going to be a quick video. <laughs> but hey, do I, do I ever do anything quick? I mean, come on. It's not my style, is it? I suppose that's one thing. I can waffle on about shit for ages. So here we are, back end of River Street. And my area, you can just about see a black shop which is the old cheese shop and that's as far as I go that way but wait there's more so of course there is someone's left a beer bottle there bless them now this is Little Castle Street you can see the weeds are slowly starting to come back. Now, another big problem that we have that keeps us busy for a good chunk of the day is uh, moss that the birds chuck off. You need to try and do at least two, maybe three sweeps a day. You just walk around brushing that off pavements. You can spend longer doing it, but you've got a balance. Everything is a balance. Everything is a balance. You've got to constantly think about how to manage with time. I'm not very good time management. <laughs> I'm very good at time management. Yeah, this is pretty bad around here. This street is really bad. Um, the the weeds that just get absolutely ingrained around here really do you hear it? Now that's modern music, the music store, obviously, but it's actually a really freaking famous one. <clears throat> Out of all the music stores in the UK, it's actually really famous. There's loads of famous musicians that have either bought their first instruments from that shop or um, make special way to that shop. I don't know the ins and the outs of it, but yeah. Modern music, it's been there forever. 
I imagine the dinosaurs picked up their instruments from there. Look at all this as well. That's all going to have to come out later. And this goes all the way up this street. Well, we were actually, was it 31? Might have been 33. We were going to get one of these houses originally. But we just missed out on it. You can see all the rubbish between the parked cars. Now this is like the edge of my territory up here. It goes up to the end of that street there. And that's it. This street gets really bad in here. You can see it's very bitty. Oh, there's Ray. Emptying the bins. Yeah, you can see this is getting really bad up here. It goes all the way around. And that house there with the uh, fence, which kind of looks derelict. We were actually going to get that at one point as well. It looked really rough on the outside, but inside it is really, really, really nice. Uh, and it has full fibre. So anyway, this is like the edge of my territory here. And if you go straight through and look down to the left, you'll see that black shop that I told you about earlier. So, so far I've showed you about 20% of my round. Hey guys, bit of a quick update for you. It's now half past seven and uh, I've managed to do about, well, all of that side of the road, all the way down. Um, I've got about, well, most of the way up here, but you get to this bit here and it starts getting really dense. So this is going to take me a little while. So what do I do all uh, day to stave off the soul crushing boredom? Well, I listen to YouTube and podcasts, of course. I'm just finished listening to Spawn Wave about uh, the very difficult decision that we have at the end of this year. Do we spend 350 or 400 pounds on the Atari VCS? Or do we get a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X? Hmm, difficult decision in t indeed. I mean, the Atari does have the faux wood grain, so there's that. Oh, and you have to pay an extra 100 pounds um, to get it with a controller. Hmm, can't really see those things flying off the shelves, but anyway, quick update for you. It's also started to rain, which is fantastic. We love it when it rains. It makes the job uh, more fun. Anyway, see you in a second. So, it's just gone to 9 o'clock. I've managed to come all the way down there and pretty much finish this side off. Uh, it's outside Burger King here. But wait, there's more. I still have to go all the way up there. And the more I do today, the less I have to do tomorrow, I can worry about other things. But I do have a pressing concern. Just how bad the other side of the road is. <laughs> I haven't even started that yet. So, yeah. It's a never-ending battle. I don't call it weeding, I call it deadheading. I don't call it... Uh, now, uh, everyone else says you've got to cleanse the streets. You can't really cleanse the streets. You can't cleanse them and then they're done. I call it damage control. You can only just keep scratching away and doing the best you can. Um, that's Victoria Square. That is a nightmare at the moment. And I shall probably work my way around that tomorrow. Uh, I've got three thoughts in my head. One, I'd rather be at home recording a certain game. And here comes my friend over there. There's Brian, there's Barry. I'd rather be at home playing a certain game uh, involving a mansion. No, not that one. Uh, I wish, how I wish, we had fibre, fast internet, so I could stream. That's usually a big thought of mine. And three, I wish I never got out of bed this morning. 
because I'm now soaking wet from the rain. <laughs> but there we go. So uh, that's the overwhelming majority of my blue day done now. A few hours left. You might have just uh, hit a snag with the old uh, vlog situation. Hmm. So one of the guys that I work with, actually I had a bit of a section with him a minute ago, uh, has been cautioned against recording and taking photos and all that kind of stuff whilst he's on duty at work. Mm, so, unfortunately, uh, we're probably going to have to call it there, but I mean, hopefully this video, if nothing else, has given you a little bit of a look at my day, which, uh, well, you've probably seen about 15% of it now. Um, most of it is just rinse repeat. The only thing, you haven't seen the exciting stuff that I do all day. You know, the, the cleaning bins, the emptying bins, the um, filling in cracks in the pavement. Uh, what else do we have here? Ooh, all of the logs and reports and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of an insight to what I do. Um, interesting stuff. I like the idea of doing these vlogs actually, but unfortunately I'm going to be very limited with what I can do at work by all accounts. Um, also, uh, <laughs> just the half an hour or so of footage that I've recorded has killed my phone battery. I have a um, Samsung Galaxy S Plus uh, and the battery on it is fairly good, but just recording about, I say 40 minutes of footage I've got to sift through. That actually has eaten about 60% of my battery. So I don't know if something weird's going on with my phone or what, but hey, anyway. So we've now made it to 10 o'clock. Um, so I've got one hour left of my blue day. And I'm gonna spend that drinking coffee, well, for half an hour, which is my break. I'm gonna spend that drinking coffee and catching up with YouTube news. Um, I have been listening to the Dreamcast guy who had some interesting stuff. And who else did I listen to? Ah, yes, Digital Foundries uh, Retro with John Lenneman, which is fantastic. And you absolutely should watch it if you're interested in such things. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you found it at least somewhat interesting anyway, but uh, I'm gonna be very limited with what I upload from work in the future. Because remember kids, no fun allowed. Right, and finally comes the best part of the day. I am gonna be very quiet because my partner is probably still asleep and she had a pretty bad uh, migraine last night. So, yeah, I will push through the door. First thing you do, oh, it's very dark in here as well because, you know, turn the lights off when they're not in use. Kick me boots off because fuck those things. Keys on the table. And, yeah. Front room lights on for some reason. The front room, which we never, ever, ever, ever use. Go through hall. And the best room of the house. My partner's set up. It's pretty swanky. You can hear her waking up now. My setup. And there is a little taste of what's to come. And of course, all of this crap which will eventually get sorted. But we need more furniture, more furniture that matches. But yeah, that's basically my day in a nutshell.